UK says these Iranian oil tankers should be released. Dubai, United Arab Emirates Britain will facilitate the release of the seized Iranian tanker if Iran can provide guarantees the vessel would not breach European sanctions on oil shipments to Syria. Britain's top diplomat said, as European nations called for new talks to ease tensions in the Persian Gulf. The comments by Foreign Secretary Jeremy Hunt late Saturday to help escalate tensions that have spiked in recent days. In apparent retaliation for the siege, tankers, Iranian paramilitary vessels tried to impede the passage of the British oil tanker through the Strait of Hormuz, only turning away after receiving verbal warnings from the British Navy vessel accompanying the ship, the British government said. Hunt said he held a constructive call with Iran's Foreign Minister Mohammad Javasari and reassured him our concern was the destination, not the origin, of the oil. Hunt wrote that Sarif told him Iran is not seeking to escalate. The Foreign Office elaborated in a statement, saying, This was about the enforcement of EU Syria sanctions. Action was taken because of where the oil was going, a sanctioned Syrian entity, not because it was from Iran. On Sunday, the leaders of Britain, France, and Germany called for an end to the escalation of tensions in the region, which come a year after President Donald Trump pulled the U.S. out of Iran's nuclear deal with world powers. Prime Minister Theresa May, President Emmanuel Macron, and Chancellor Angela Merkel said they were deeply troubled by the attack we have witnessed in the Persian Gulf and beyond, and by the deterioration of the security in the region. They called for talks to end the standoff and signs of goodwill from all sides. Ali Rabi, an Iranian government spokesman, said British authorities would release the ship because the tanker's destination was not what the British announced, according to state TV. Iranian officials had earlier denied the ship was bound for Syria. A day earlier, Iran had reiterated its demands that the British Navy release the tanker, accusing London of playing a dangerous game and threatening retribution. The tanker's interception came on the heels of already high tensions in the Persian Gulf as the Trump administration continues its campaign of maximum pressure on Iran. Since pulling out of the nuclear deal, Trump has reimposed harsh sanctions on Tehran's oil exports, exacerbating an economic crisis that has sent its currency plummeting. The U.S. has also sent thousands of troops, an aircraft carrier, nuclear-capable B-52, bombers and defense fighter jets to the Middle East in recent weeks. Iran recently begun surpassing uranium enrichment limits set in its 2015 nuclear deal. Saying these moves can be reversed if the other parties to the agreement Germany, France, Britain, China, Russia and the European Union come up with enough economic incentives to effectively offset the US sanctions. The Iranian super tanker, carrying 2.1 million barrels of light crude oil, was seized with the help of British Royal Marines earlier this month off Gibraltar, a British overseas territory at the southern tip of Spain. Hunt told reporters on Saturday that he told police that the UK could receive sufficient guarantees that the tanker was not headed for Syria then we would be able to resolve the situation following of course, due process in the Gibraltar court. In recent days, Hunt has called for tool heads to prevail to ensure there is no unintended escalation. The UK, meanwhile, is accelerating the dispatch of the HMS Duncan to release the HMS Montrose, the frigate operating in the Persian Gulf that warned away the Iranian vessel. The HMS Duncan, a destroyer, is larger than the HMS Montrose. Police in Gibraltar said Friday they arrested four crewmen of the Iranian ship, including its captain and chief officer. All are Indian nationals. A senior Spanish official has said the interception was carried out at the request of the United States. But later Gibraltar's Chief Minister Fabian Picardo told Parliament no other government had asked the territory to act. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.